Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and today we have an Ancient Gameplays t-shirt. Now today's video is about the new Adrenaline 2020 driver, the 20.1.1. Well, it has lots of new fixes, for example, removes the stuttering that was happening in some games, solves the problem of black screens in most of the games, solves lots of issues. If you, for example, use the Enhanced Sync, the option to use V-Sync on or off, gets uh, gets hidden for you to not be able to enable it or not this all in order to um, to improve the the flickers and stutterings that people were having because most of people on these new drivers were having problems on let's say stuttery a stuttery feeling why because they had the radian anti anti-lag and <laughs> the radian anti-lag and the uh, enhanced sync enable and this if you are using a non-free sync monitor for example and if you are above your rate for example you have a 60 hertz or a 75 hertz refresh refresh rate monitor if you are using these settings with it you will have stutterings even if you are for example at 200 fps or even at 60 for example um, so yeah these settings must be disabled first in any driver okay after that, if you were still having problems, then this driver may probably like really, really probably fix most of the problems you have, if not all. Still talking about problems, well, I've been using the 1912.3 driver for almost like two weeks and it is perfectly stable for me, as I've shown in this video before. But well, I installed this driver yesterday, the 21.1, which in my opinion should be the real first Adrenaline 2020. I know all the things that um, that the software team is small, but if they can do the 21.1, they could wait and just use the Adrenaline 2020 brand in 2020 and do a decently stable driver instead of making all you know, of pushing all these drivers. Um, with people having problems. Okay, most of the people are having problems because they don't even know how to mess with drivers. But that, my friends, that, my friends, should not happen. And that doesn't happen with NVIDIA, for example. I, I sincerely am not a fan of NVIDIA and even more not a fan of NVIDIA's practices. I am not. You may be sure of that. But they do have one thing that sure is better than AMD. The software overall, the software overall, the ease of use, okay? It's more friendly to the user because the user don't have to deactivate 25,000 settings in order to get the decent results they should have out of the box. So if AMD wants, and with this new driver, they do some of those things, they should, for example, out of the box, disable the Radeon anti-lag and the enhanced sync. For the most common user, they won't search more. Exactly, they won't search more and they just want to install the drivers and psh, run the games at the max settings with a, with an RX 570 most of the times, but they, they just want to, to install the drivers and play. That's the main thing that AMD should focus on, yeah. But well, talking once again about the drivers, the drivers are stable, the 1912 uh, the 1912.2 were kind of buggy to me with FreeSync broken and whatever. Once I upgraded to, or updated, yes, once I updated uh, the driver to 1912.3, they, the drivers were completely, completely stable, okay? Completely. The only thing I have to do, like always, is go into the BIOS and disable PCI Express 4. As for the drivers, 1912.3 stable. I tested now the 21.1 and they are still stable. I played, for example, Red Dead Redemption 2, I played some more games for quite some time and the driver is perfectly stable. So, finally, it is done! A perfectly stable driver. What I mean is, once again, these 21.1 drivers should be the first Adrenaline 2020. AMD should wait, but well, I do not own AMD and they know what's best for them most of the times, uh, not me because they are the studied ones, they, they studied a lot of years um, to know what to do and what not to do, not me. But well, thanks a lot for watching guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share the video, go and leave a comment in the comment section, tell me what you think about these... Blah, blah, blah. Shit!
Tell me what you think about these new drivers and if they are working properly to you or not. See you in the next video.